Hello, Deacon and Sarah here today. We are going to talk about missing people. Do you have friends or family that live far away? I do. I have a brother in California. I have a brother in Wisconsin. I have a sister-in-law in Wisconsin. I have two nieces and a nephew in Wisconsin. My mom and dad are in Wisconsin and I'm in Missouri. Those states are pretty far away. And man, I miss my family. I wish I could see them more often. When we get to get when we get to see each other, when we get together, oh, it's so much fun. I laugh with my brothers and my sister-in-law. I play with my nieces and my nephew. I talk and laugh with my mom and my dad. It's so fun. I love it. But then our visit always comes to an end. We always have to head back to our own homes. And sometimes we can talk on the phone or send pictures or videos, and that's nice. But it's really, really special when we can be together. Now, think about not just people that we don't get to see very often, but has anyone in your family died? Has anyone in your family gone to heaven? Their body stopped working, this body stopped working, and they're in heaven with Jesus, and we miss them, right? We wish that they would come back. We want to spend time with them again. Well, missing people can be hard, absolutely. But remember, being part of God's family means that we are covered with Jesus. And what did Jesus do on that cross? He died to take away our sins. And he died to open up heaven, to pay the debt. That means pay what was owed. So all of our sins cost Jesus his life. But that was the plan. God made that plan. Jesus did that plan. Also that you and I would be saved and would have heaven to look forward to. So we miss people. We miss seeing friends and family. And when someone dies, it's hard. We cry. We miss them. We wish that they would be back. But when someone dies in the faith, and we've talked about this before, when someone is a saint belonging to God, part of God's family, we miss them. But we also can rejoice that we will see them again. We do have heaven to look forward to. I love seeing my family and I look forward to seeing them again. And just like that, I can think about my grandmas and my grandpas, my aunts, people who have died before me, who I know I will get to see in heaven. So today, maybe you know someone or you're missing someone if they're still alive, maybe you give them a phone call or you video chat or you FaceTime. If, they're, if they've already died, maybe you can remember that Jesus died the ultimate death, paid for our sins on the cross, so that we will get to see those people in heaven. Because Jesus rose again on Easter. We've talked about that too. And when he rose again, he defeated death. He defeated sin. We have eternal life and great celebration waiting for us in heaven. So the people who we miss are already with Jesus. Thanks be to God. And we can rejoice and trust that they are with Jesus and we will too someday. So when you find yourself missing someone Remember, God loves you, and he put a plan together that you will see your loved ones again someday. And that is a very good message. We're going to stop there today. Have a great rest of your day and a great week, and I'll see you next time.